So, back again. Uh, time to tie another fly. Uh, a pattern I tied before, I think, but uh, it was uh, yeah, a year ago or two years ago. So, today we're gonna tie silver gray. A fantastic pattern. I like it. It's one of my favorite. It's good to fish with. Um, it's just a great pattern. So, um, let's begin. Let's start tying. Silver gray. I'm gonna use a different kind of body instead of just flat uh, silver. This one's gonna be really, really interesting. But first of all, extra small oval silver tinsel. So a few wraps with that one. Just gonna attach the tinsel to the hook. Noticed it did slip. I want to have it just underneath the hook. So I'm just securing it again with a few wraps with the thread. And going backwards, tying it in. There we go. Then I just secure the rest of the oval silver tinsel. Somewhere there. Yellow silk. Same here. I'm, I'm attaching it underneath. Cutting the leftovers. There we go. Moving forward, I also adjust the thickness of it. There we go. I'm so just gonna tie it in. Same here. Just securing it a few wraps with the thread. Cutting the leftover. There we go. Now I wanna even out the bump 
before adding the tail. So I'm using just a thread. And you see we're starting to get a good foundation for the tail. And there we are. So he's gonna add some wax to the thread. <clears throat> I'm in parallel working on the teal uh, preparation movie so I haven't forgotten you guys it takes some time Sure, it's centered. Almost. There we are. Just tying the whole thing in. And going back again. Sorry. Must have a small fiber there. Removing that. So, looking at the tail, it's quite low. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. Next step, buried wood duck. Just gonna prepare those. Quite long. Looking good. Just need to adjust it a little bit. Now it's exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna cut the left over here. And then it's time for the ostrich child. So I'm gonna go with the black wax. So 
going backwards. Then we have the little stitch here. So let me just attach that one. This one on a turn. Backwards with the thread again, and then we are securing the ostrich herd. fiber there. So time again, backward, just before the ostrich oil. And we're gonna uh, tie in oval silver tinsel first. Just gonna remove the a bit of the tin cell to reveal the core. this one in so I'm gonna tie everything in again backwards and then I'm gonna add this flat tin cell getting that out of the way and then I'm gonna estimate about two. Uh, I want to tie in the, the cock hackle, the body hackle, so it starts on the, on the second turn of the oval silver tinsel. So I estimate that to be there. Let me just 
Yeah, somewhere that, like where, where I want it to be. So, Badger Hackle, Silver Badger. Yeah, it's gonna vex the thread. <coughs> Don't want it to come off. So there we are. Let's tie that one in as well. Securing it. So yes, it's gonna even up here as well a little bit. Don't need to add too much thread. So today I'm gonna do a two-part movie. So this is gonna be the body. And in the next uh, part I'm gonna do the wing. So there we are, so fun thing, you can uh, tie this one uh, and then you're ready for the next step when I release that part of the movie. And this gives a bit of a embossed uh, look to the fly. Tight, good ramps. there there we are so we're gonna stop there and tie it in Now it's time for the oval silver tinsel.
six turns. Now I tie, I tie on the five book hook and from Graham Kelly, one of my favorite hooks. And so then I go normally with six turns of the oval tinsel. So our next step then is to apply the body hackle. So you want to stay just behind that uh, oval silver tinsel. So you hide the stem and just behind it. The body is a Vigian front hacking. So I prepared one. I want it to be a bit longer. As you see, it's quite long, but I, I want to have a sweeping curve. So a bit of wax to the thread. And after the body is done, I will go up and continue to prepare more teal. There we are. So just gonna cut that one away. There we go. So, just folding the feathers backwards. Oops. sufficient so I'm just gonna tie it in a few wraps with the thread then let's cut this one off Fender a bit. Oh, that hook is <laughs> super sharp. Just be aware. a bit and just get it dry in that position I want it and then when it's dry I'm gonna brush it out and then it's gonna look good It's 
Now we have a nice, you see the body, the hackel is all around. So it's really nice when fishing, uh, you have a lot of things making noise in the water. So until next video, uh, the front hacker will have dried, I will brush it out and uh, then we continue with the wing. So that was the body part of uh, Price Tanat Silver Grey with the twist uh, uh, since I'm using a different uh, uh, body tin cell. But, uh, so far it's looking nice according to myself at least i hope you um, gonna enjoy the video and uh, you think it's uh, nice as well so why don't you uh, tie the same pattern and when you are done and then in a, in a few days uh, i'm gonna release the next part and uh, after that you can tie that as well so uh, yeah with that see you in the next video take care bye, bye.